Ja. Oh ja. In this video, pretty much everything you need to know how to replace the radiator cooling fan hub on a D6 or bulldozer caterpillar and as you can see this fan hub is done see the bearing probably the bearing is gone completely there's two bearings and it seems like first one is gone okay first of all turn your night switch a key master switch off this is a cat 3306 diesel very popular super reliable engine and we need to start uh, disconnect everything my ac system is empty but if yours is not extract that freon and make sure you're ready to remove the condenser okay there's a bracket mounting bolts and nuts we need to undo those ones that's 916 and I will try to make it as informative and short as possible and click that subscribe button very appreciated that and notification bell can be turned on too and you won't miss any new videos thank you so much guys and if you have any questions drop them down in the comment section below and that process is pretty much straightforward but I will just pet, like point it certain things make sure you won't miss anything what's important okay as you can see i already pulling my ac condenser it's out now time for the radiator like fan guard that's probably most difficult part to get it out but to put it back it will be more even more intense in my opinion anyway but mostly time consuming okay same 916 socket and our favorite rigid tool all right that is it four pieces you need to get them out prior to get to the belts hubs and all the components which is uh, pretty uncomfortable together okay and uh, we have a uh, upper portion of those guards off and the play guys yeah, i said that one bearing is completely gone and okay when well, now we need to disconnect the alternator and undo those bolts and take the belts from the alternator pulley and yeah pretty much straightforward as a locking nuts and um, there's a guard for the alternator pulley I don't know bottom it's a long bolt and all those bolts and nuts is three quarters very simple all like you don't need to have different varieties of wrenches 9 16 three quarters and half inch so far and that's it pretty much okay bottom bolt is out and um, adjustments are all loose and uh, off as well yeah put all together take a belt off the pulley and uh, yep I like any alternator removal okay oh almost <laughs> oh yeah it's out just wiggle from side to side and uh, yep just good time to check the bearings make sure they're good and just spin it may not no play and bearings are not on the way out okay as you can see bottom part of that fan guard still needs to be removed and uh, that's the next thing we have to do there is a one two bo two bolts and one bolt holding them two guards together and yeah okay that's guy out and another one as well but when you're going to put them in you only can put them from the right hand side you won't be able to put from the left that's it just advice okay we have our wrench and uh, socket to loose the radiator fan hub pulley and hub and that all assembly we're unbolting just the fan now from the pulley there's a bunch of bolts around just yeah undo those ones pretty much straightforward and uh, 
when you are going to put everything back together make sure you tie those balls preliminarily on a cross pattern and yep as you can see one is out and I have a few more to remove and yep undo those bolts and that way we'll disconnect that fan from the pool okay top the up with the number slightly to get it break it loose and it will eventually come out yep as you can see mine is off and uh, yeah, lots of metal grind, the cone bearing from the bearing cap, and uh, those are needle rolls are worn out too. Yeah, no, that's absolutely really bad, but we're so lucky we saved the radiator and fan the hub didn't fail completely. Okay, half inch fell point points range and undo those mounting bracket bolts for the hub. Yeah, but very important part I want to stress that before you will start assembling new fan hub make sure you put those four bolts in the bracket otherwise you won't have the enough clearance to put them in when pulley is on the hub and you're ready to put it back on the machine just uh, advice okay I'm pulling that bad boy out almost that's a pre well not very much room but you can do it you just turn that top bracket up okay here's my my <laughs> broken hub and uh, yeah not good not good and we need to get back machine back to business and we'll get it fixed and uh, it's already good okay getting dark and cold but we're lucky, no rain or snow yet, but... Alright, hub is out, and for me personally, installation is a less time-consuming part of the repair than removal. You know everything, how everything came out, and what size of sockets and wrenches to use. D6R beautiful machine for pushing dirt, let's get back to the shop. And as you can see, I already put my bolts in the bracket, make sure you've done that before you will put a pulley very important otherwise you won't have enough clearance okay uh, I already packed the bearings with the grease put a seal everything's lubricated and now ready for the shaft make sure you won't over tight your bearings when you tighten that bolt make sure it has no play and it's not too tight too much tension on the bearings wore them out and you can get a blueprint diagram from local cat dealer okay that's uh, pretty much straightforward but if you have any questions about that hub assembly put them down in the comment section below i went the final assembly tie those bolts preliminarily and why bearings failed it's not enough grease no grease too much grease when grease pushed the seal out blew up a seal dirt get in wear out a bearing bearings over tight during the installation or too much tension on a belt will also cause the bearings fail prematurely don't forget to grease the zerg on top of the hub and uh, yeah we'll keep pushing dirt if i miss something in the video critics down in the comment section below let's fire it up beautiful she's running like a new new hub new bearings everything's fixed and we're ready to get back and push more dirt well, I'm cool for today. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. Very appreciated that. More heavy duty equipment is coming. Bulldozers, excavators, trucks, cats. Okay, please go and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for doing that. And uh, yeah, take care, stay safe. And yeah, see you soon. Bye bye now.